guys, welcome to part three of my answering your questions videos. This third part is going to be about hobbies and all other kinds of leftover questions that you guys ask me. What made you want to start com coming up with DIY projects? Um, I like do-it-yourself projects. I've always been... I'm a super creative aesthetic person and I love being able to create stuff. Like if you have an idea, I don't want to go out and buy this thing, I want to make it myself. So I've always been... Yeah, I've always been that person. So and when I discovered YouTube or the use of YouTube in that matter, um, it just felt kind of natural to st start doing that, basically. So yeah. What made you do the pole dancing videos? Pole dancing is a great workout way to work out, and I kind of want to show people that it's not necessarily about stripping. Stripping is taking your clothes off for money. That's not what a pole dancer does. I mean, obviously, if you're a stripper, you can be a pole dancer, and if you're a pole dancer, you can be a stripper, but the word pole dancing for me does not mean grinding your, you know, downstairs gear against the pole. It means doing pretty difficult athletic, like, gymnastics and dancing and acrobatics on the pole. So I, I really, really like that. I just wanted to show you my side of pole dancing. What is one really important lesson that you've learned in life? Be yourself no matter what. Just be true to yourself, do what you want, and, you know, be happy with yourself and the decisions you make. We get one chance, you guys, unless you believe in the reincarnation. Uh, we get one chance. And I, I'd rather look back on my life and regret the things that I've done than to regret the things that I never got around do, to doing. So just make as many mistakes as you can and have fun getting to know yourself. I was, you know, kind of bullied in, in school uh, because I was different even when I was a kid. That kind of molded me into really wanting to be true to myself. So that is my big, my big life lesson for you guys. Just make sure you're living by your own rules and nobody else's because I'm not gonna be anyone's bitch. Like, the, there's, this world is big enough for all kinds of people. What inspired you to become a makeup artist? Um, I've always been fascinated with makeup and the way you can change the way you look. Like with a tiny little detail, changing a tiny little detail, you can make a huge difference in the way that you look. And that's why I love doing stuff with the hair and clothes and everything too. Um, so makeup, um, it's just fun. That's basically it. I just want to have fun, you guys. I'm a fun-loving person. Life is supposed to be about having fun in my opinion. So makeup is a creative way to just do something fun. I don't necessarily think it has to be about beauty. Like I love doing all kinds of stuff. Just trying out different things. I'm still myself under here. It's just fun to mold it, you know? Fun to play around. Yeah, that's why I will love being a makeup artist. Have you ever been to Gothic Treffen? If you have, what was it like and did you enjoy yourself? I actually have not been. I have some friends who've been and they loved it, so we're talking about maybe going next year, but I don't know so far and haven't been yet, unfortunately. What is your music interest? I like all kinds of music. I really, really don't like gangster rap and hip-hop. I think it's pathetic to sing about bitches and hoes. I really don't see the point in being a pimp and wearing bling bling, you know, that's just bullshit. So, not that. I'm not a big fan of country music, um, and I really don't like reggae. But other than that, I can listen to pretty much anything. I really love, uh, like, EBM and synth. I love anything that you can just, like, stand for an hour and just jump up and down because you're so stuck in the music. Uh, I also love rock. I love metal. There are even some pop tunes out there that I think are pretty good, so, you know. Um, I like punk. I like ska, rockabilly, psychobilly, like, yeah. I like a lot of kinds of music. Um, some of my favorite bands are Paramore, System of a Down, VNB Nation, um, Call Me Christ. Oh, and I have always loved the Cranberries. Can you do a How to Speak Swedish segment? Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea for me to do that. <laughs> I think it would be weird. Sorry, but I think it would be kind of time consuming on my behalf and not really giving me that much back. I mean, that sounds really ego egotistical and stuff, but 
in all my tutorials, I actually learn something myself. In everything I sew, I make something for myself. Not just because somebody asked me, because, but because I put my own twist on it and I'm actually gonna wear this thing or, you know, use this bag or whatever I've made. Um, so, to spend that much time trying to teach people how to speak Swedish, I'm sorry, um, it will probably be pretty fun. Maybe I can pop something in sometime when I'm doing another video, but I'm not gonna be able to do a full segment on like Swedish 101. Sorry. What are your hobbies? Well, you've seen most of them here on YouTube. I like my rats, I like pets, um, I like sewing, I like drawing, I like music, I like dancing, I like body modifications, I like partying, I like movies, especially zombie movies, I like video games, I like cartoons. Oh, basically everything that's fun. Do you like drawing? Um, yes, I do. I like drawing uh, like my own cartoon or comic or you know comic strip. Um, and uh, I haven't done that in a while though because I haven't had a chance. But yeah, I like drawing. It's fun. Maybe, maybe not the beautiful artistic thingies. That's not my thing. I just want to draw like the funny, <laughs> maybe a bit ugly stuff. So I've been published a couple of times. Uh, I used to have a cartoon cartoon strip, but uh, do you say cartoon comic strip? Fuck it, you know what I'm talking about. What is your favorite color? Um, black. Some people say black isn't a color, but black is my favorite color. If I had to choose something else, I would go with red or purple. What kind of food do you like? I'm a meat eater. I like meat, meat and like mushroom sauce. I like pasta. I like fish. Shell. I like uh, shellfish. I like everything, basically, except for the stuff that I'm allergic to. Do you play video games? If you do, which ones? Um, yes I do, but I don't play like the new flashy ones. I play Nintendo, the original grey 8-bit box. <laughs> That's what I play. My favorite game is Zelda. I'm awesome at Zelda. But I also like, um, like the Mario Brothers and all that stuff. Can you roll your tongue? Well, like this? Yes, I can. Do you have a favorite actor, actress, and director? Favorite director is Tim Burton, without a question. Favorite actor? Um, there are a lot of good actors and actresses out there, so it's tricky to just pick one. I like, um, for instance, I like Mila Jovovich. Um, I guess I like Johnny Depp. I'm kind of sick of him right now. That's not why he's. That's why he's not like the obvious choice. Um, I just, uh, it's too tricky. You should have asked me what my favorite movie was, what kind of movies I like instead. That's easier to answer. Can you do more tutorials? Why, yes I can, and I will. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, I like pretty much everything that Ben and Jerry make. Um, but I think I have to go with my favorite ice cream flavor being, like, white chocolate with coconut chunks. Ugh. The song you always start your videos with, I can't fight it anywhere, can you link to it here on YouTube or, or something? Um, I'm not gonna link to, to, to this particular song, the name of it is in the beginning of the video, but I can tell you guys where I get my music from. I'm using Yamendo or Jamendo or whatever, um, I can just post a link to Yamendo below, which is for non-copyright music. So that's the only way that you can get away with using music um, on YouTube or they will get you. Last question is, do you have any pet peeves? I'm not really sure that I know exactly what pet peeves mean, because it sounds kind of like stuff that bother you in society, or like stuff that kind of freak you out for no reason, am I right? I don't like when people are fucked up for no good reason. Okay, there are a lot of things in the society that I'm unhappy with, but pet peeves, I don't know, let's go with fucking butterflies because they freak me out with that. this... Blech. That was all of your questions. I hope I haven't missed anything. I'm really sorry if I have. Thank you guys so much for posting these. You are so creative and fun. This has been a lot of fun, you guys. And, uh... Sorry for making it into three videos, but you asked a lot of questions. So, you know, <laughs> take some time to answer. Um, thank you so much for watching. Keep looking at my channel and my blog, don't forget my blog, because I keep, will keep posting stuff, I promise. So, thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time, bye!